It is March 7th, 2024, and I am currently heading toward uh, the protest and counter-protest that's happening at Bayit Beth Avram Yosef of Toronto in Thornhill. And uh, there is currently, to my understanding, a an Israel real estate seminar happening at Bayit. And there are anti-Israel protesters currently outside of the shul, the synagogue. And you, you might be able to hear them now if I don't say anything. They are interrupting life of the entire neighborhood. The police are here from York Region Police. And there are other groups here as well. So, I'm just coming up to buy it now. That is buy it over there. This is the parking lot. As you can see, the whole place has been cordoned off because they knew that this was going to be happening and that is why there is also a counter protest happening at the same time you can see that the street has been blocked off as well and I'm sure that by now you can already hear the people with the loudspeakers on Clark Avenue at the front of the show. So you can hear that they are saying that Israelis you can't hide, you are committing genocide. There are people here with Indian flags, Canadian and Israeli flags. This is what uh, life in Toronto, Ontario, Canada is like at the moment.
Now that is what the current situation is like. It is a lot of noise. The street is completely blocked off. And the police have separated both groups. Over here that you can see that there are people reporting from different publications of some kind. So over here you have CBC on their cameras. That's the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. You also have CTV, which is a privately owned broadcasting company. We have some folks over here as well. I'm not sure who they're with. And you can see that right now it's very loud in either direction because regardless of what the message is from one side the other side is basically blasting it back with uh, messages of pride uh, we've also got uh, so I'm finding more media here now the person being interviewed now that you just saw is an Iranian uh, former my understanding is he's a former uh, political prisoner in Iran and you frequently see him here in Toronto at uh, protests and rallies and vigils for the hostages who are currently being held in Gaza. And then I believe that is somebody from Rebel News who is also frequently at these events as well. So this is Beit Avram Yosef of Toronto. It's called Bayit. And on a normal day, it's quite peaceful. Many people come here to pray, to take part in Jewish community events. And so that is what you have going on right now. And it is just absolutely loud. It is noise on noise on noise and you see as I said police on one side and police on the other side basically keeping everybody separately I'm just walking around okay I'm, I'm on YouTube This is basically like a line here. Okay, thank you. So it 
if you can even hear me at this point, you can tell that it's very loud coming from this area over here. The uh, pro-Palestinian side is shouting its slogans on one side, and they're having Israeli music blasted at them from the other side. on stolen land and what they're suggesting by doing that is so unfortunately something has broken away and there are people now apparently fighting over there I'm going to uh, not go over there, because that is not the point of what I'm doing today. But, further to what I was saying just a moment ago, they believe that Israel, it's, in its entirety, is stolen land. Uh, however, uh, the situation is not good, frankly. So what they're also doing uh, by coming here is instigating and trying to create these types of situations where there are fights in order that they can record them. And unfortunately, uh, some people are calling for it. The police are going over to handle it right now. You have some more people from various other organizations here. Uh, you've got Global News over here. Another unmarked outlet here. some people over on this side are talking with each other. Uh, you have a gentleman here from uh, the Naturi Karta. And you can see uh, over here a sign for the Rebbitz and Judy Taub Memorial Parquet has some stickers placed on it. Some of the stickers You 
see some of the comparisons being made to the Holocaust because that is a common thread being made. And you have some people uh, discussing. Hi there. And so that is generally what it's like right now. Unfortunately, the conflict overseas has made its way over here in, for the most part, threats and shouting. Unfortunately, uh, there is more than just threats, and of course, you'll notice that many of the people uh, on the Palestinian side are wearing masks. I'll show you, for instance. So you can see over there, covering their faces. Sorry. So this has been going on now since about 2 p.m. And it is the current situation. Yeah, unfortunately, it's very sad to see. You're, you're right, JM. Uh, and it's been like this now for the past few months. I'm gonna try switching hands, so my apologies if the video goes a little bit weird for a second. All right, did we flip properly? I think we did. So, yeah, I, this has been uh, the case for the city for uh, the past few months. The situation really has boiled over in this direction. And it's very hard in some cases to talk on both sides between each other because they've taken the same conflict that way. Oh. Now I will say that I did have actually a somewhat fruitful conversation. I went to Yuck Yucks for the uh, for the show, the uh, Pro Israel Comedy Show, about a month ago. And while there, uh, there were well, nowhere near as loud as this, mind you because they didn't bring giant loudspeakers with them. But I did, uh, I did have a pleasant, uh, a, a cordial conversation with somebody who was there with the pro-Palestinian protesters. And we went back and forth on some of the issues. And in his particular case, he was quite open about being perfectly accepting of peace with, uh, for all people, but still is of the belief that, um, still is of the belief that Israel's existence, uh, and I'm paraphrasing him, is like beating a dead horse. Because yes, it's our ancient land, as he was more than happy to admit, but by its mere existence as a modern state, he, feel, he felt that it was no such, uh, no so, such comparison and that there was no uh, reason for it to exist anymore because there's no attachment to the historical homeland of the Jews. Now, uh, obviously I didn't agree with them, but the fact that we were able to have an amicable, amicable conversation is, in my thought, uh, certainly a start. So it's something compared to what you have going on here. So, over there you have a gentleman in a kafia, fully masked. And I'll see if I can get it for you. The sign says, for sale, stolen land at this synagogue. Because again, as I said when I started the stream, uh, the entire impetus for them coming here 
as they say at the very least, is because there was supposed to be a real estate seminar, an Israel real estate seminar happening here. I'm going to show you the crowd again. Again, uh, the police are making it a little bit difficult for me to walk around both sides and show you, but uh, I'll do my best as I can go along. So as people are either coming or going, uh, the space of which the protest and the counter protest has moved or expanded is, well it's expanded, that's what I'm trying to say. The space in which the protest and counter protest are taking up has expanded. I would say in, in large part that's because of the situation that happened a few minutes ago. But the seems the person who was screaming fight before and ran with the camera has come back this way. So I would guess that whatever the situation was over there, they will most likely be reporting on it later from uh, major news outlets, I would guess, is done with. And it does look clear over there again down the street on Clark Avenue. Yeah. Uh, yes, Jam, there are definitely a lot of people screaming at us over here. As I said, I'm going to try to get uh, more going on than just the Israel side. I will do what I can, but it is rather difficult, especially with the police trying to make sure that everybody is staying separated from each other. Is there anything that anybody watching would like me to show? I'm going to try to go up to somebody here who's got a megaphone. So that man is just shouting shame on you into his micro megaphone. And you can hear a common slogan of no justice, no peace. one of the common threads that has come out since October 7th, which is, our word is not resistance. It makes you wonder what is going to happen over the rest of the week, over the rest of the month, and this is the man that I was saying before of, so he was a political prisoner in Iran, uh, how many years ago? 11 years ago, 12 years ago. 11 or 12 years ago. In 2009. In 2009. 15 years ago. <laughs> Time flies. So you would see him very commonly at uh, at events like, well, not events like this, because this kind of thing has not really happened uh, until this week. So I'm going to do my best to get around to the other side as well, but I cannot make any guarantees in that regard.
I'm gonna go show you some of the farther area walking away. So this started at 2 o'clock. And it also happened yesterday, but nowhere near to this degree from my understanding. It also happened on Sunday at Asia Torah, which is just down the street on Clark, next to Rena, which is a home and a community center for people with developmental disabilities, Down syndrome, all kinds of different, uh, 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 different abilities. And I can't imagine what those people were going through as these uh, as people with loudspeakers were shouting these slogans outside what is essentially their home. And that's what's been going on. Sorry, somebody just screamed behind me and I wasn't sure what the situation was. It's gotten, as the Traveling Clat put it, tense. And if you haven't watched the Traveling Clat, especially his recent videos, you absolutely should, because he's in Israel right now, and he's meeting, he has been meeting with people from both sides uh, over the past few years, and telling their different stories. He's met with the Ask Project, which I highly suggest checking out as well, because they ask Israelis and Palestinians and Arabs and Jews all kinds of different questions. So here is the other border, uh, also officers on horseback. It's basically creating a zone, trying to keep everything to this smaller area, quote unquote. Of course, the street is completely, completely blocked off. I'm going to just take a look here. So how's everybody doing tonight? More signs. This one says, stop perverting religion. Judaism is not Zionism. And also says, synagogues should not facilitate land theft. Again, referring to, um, to that situation to the uh, real estate seminar that was planned. It may still be going on. Now, what you might have noticed, by the way, uh, aside from that one Iranian man, there are other people with Iranian flags here. You can see one leaving. They're not the current Iranian flag. Oh, hello, Luzger. I, yeah, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go live tonight or not, but I figured I was already on Tal's live stream earlier today, hanging out. I might as well um, let people see what's going on here in Toronto, on the other side of the world. So where are you writing in from, if, uh, if you don't mind me asking? And if you have a chance, and you can even hear me over this music. Oh, you can also see, again, this is people's home. Oh, wow. This, you're very close by. You can see, by the way, some folks holding their flags in their backyards because, again, this is a residential neighborhood that we're dealing with here. Now, I don't know what YouTube is going to do as far as, um, as, far as anything with uh, copyright blocking because of all the music being played. The, uh, the anti-Israel protesters are, they are um, mostly just chanting and then you've got the Israeli side, the pro-Israel side. 
Yeah, if you were to come over here, I would not suggest that you get very close, um, except to go just stay on a separate side. You can see the police have a line here. And, oh, wow, there are actually a lot more people coming in now. So this is a person who I believe is on their back deck or their back fence right by the edge of the protesters. As, a, as the police are not stopping her, I guess that they're allowing her to um, allowing her to stay up there as long as she's not going any further. Oh, there are people going up to speak? I'm not sure. I can't actually tell. There is a podium set up there, by the way. There's a podium set up uh, at the top of the steps to buy it, but I'm not quite sure what, uh, if anything is going to be done up there, considering how loud uh, that is. Now, again, as I said before, you have some different nationalities flags around right at the front of the crowd. I'll see if I can get it. There is another Iranian flag mixed in, and you'll notice again it is not the current Iranian flag. That is a pre revolutionary flag. So the question is. Would you like me to go talk to people? I'm just sending a text, so my apologies. I wonder if you're looking at my face right now, guys. You are looking at my face. I apologize to everybody who was just looking at my face, looking at my phone, uh, watching me text for a moment there for anybody who's been sticking on the stream. So I ask again, does anybody want me to go speak to anybody? It has actually gotten a little bit quiet, believe it or not. I don't know what's going to happen as it gets darker because, as you might notice, there are not a lot of street lights around here. So I see the president from the Bayat and I'm going to see if I can speak to him for a moment and get some word from him. I'm going to speak to him in a little bit. He's currently speaking to somebody. So there we have different people. Do you want to tell the people on YouTube what the sign says? The English version comes here. Oh, oh, there's an English version on the other side. We reject 1979 revolt in Iran. And we want this man back to Iran. And he's the king of Iran, the Shah of Iran. Can you explain the difference between the flag that you're carrying and... Lion and Son, it has 7,000 years of history. Lion and Son, on 1979 was revoked 
and the problems not just in Iran but also in uh, Middle East began. Before the revolution, the army of Iran was in the border of Israel and Lebanon, keeping the extremists away from Israel. Before the revolution, the army of Iran was in Oman, keeping the uh, like kicking the communist Yemenis out of Oman. You know, right now Oman is like uh, Paris of Middle East, and Yemen is like a hell. That's thanks to army of Iran and the Shah of Iran who sent his troops over there. As long as the Shah was Iran in Iran, the army of Iran was peacemaker. The day the revolution started by the support of Jimmy Carter, Joe Biden and other people from the Soviet Union, all the problems in Middle East started. The Shah died on like, July 1979. Two months later, Saddam attacked Iran. And all the wars in the Middle East, the new wars, started from that point. As long as Shah was there, Saddam didn't dare to attack Kuwait, let alone Iran. But what I want to say is that we had a king of peace, now we have a terrorist regime of war. If we get this man back to Iran, the Shah of Iran, not just the problems of Middle East, but also the problems of the world are gone. Because all the problems of the world somehow come from Middle East. Those people over there, they are using my money to dig tunnels under Gaza. And you know, we are talking about uh, hundreds of kilometers of tunnels. It's more than the GDP of certain countries with millions of population. It's the money of Iranians. And I know, from just my, my understanding, it's, the more, it's more than even the tunnels of the Manhattan subway system. Their ventilation system was in the building of the United Nations. So there are many things to dig out to understand what's going on there. But what I know is that we need the kingdom back to Iran. At that point, the money that goes to them is finished and peace is back to Middle East. That's my point. So, so uh, somebody just commented, bless this man. Thank you. <laughs> and he said, this is live, yes. Is it going to be a YouTube video? It's on live on Jewish Music Toronto right now. Say hi to the people of Jewish Music. It's not a lot of people right now, but uh, yes, it is live. All right. So, do you want do you want to do you want to talk for a moment about the connect uh, the potential for peace? Uh, speaking of potential, for peace, do you yeah. want to talk for a second about the potential for peace between Israelis, Jews, and Iranians, and potentially Muslim Iranians? Before 1979, Iran was ranked verse in terms of uh, personal and religious freedom. 150,000 Jews were living in Iran. After 1967, all Muslim countries uh, like uh, asked the Jews to leave their country. But they were in Iran, they had business, they had good life. And as I said, somewhere in the hell of Middle East, there was a country that was ranked first in terms of religious and personal freedom. So, if I can ask you, sorry to interrupt, are you yourself uh, Jewish or no. Muslim or Christian? I am born Muslim. That's You're all born. what I have to say. I am born Muslim, not more than that. Okay. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. I hope peace is back to Middle East with the result of the second. to interrupt the, uh, the national anthem, but it was playing just as we were in the middle of speaking. I'm going to try to go speak with...
with the uh, president of Byte now. I don't know if I'll be able to pull him aside, but we'll see. And you might have noticed I stopped talking during the national anthems. Just uh, sign of respect. And I, don't, I do not know where he went. from Jewish Music Tron. I just want to say a few things to oh, you. So we actually have some people Gutman, right now speaking from the podium. Please, Craig Gutman. Please, Craig Gutman. This past Sunday, the Lord Jesus Christ filled into Portugal. Can you folks hear this well enough? If you're in charge today, I believe you will lead us in the next world of basketball. He was coming through scratchy, don't worry. If you're wondering what they are chanting, it is just the word. Gaza. Well enough at all. 
Or is it all just coming in through one side or the other? some kind of better sound for you. It is very loud. Very, very loud. Very, very loud.
Mashiach now! I think that is... Hey, Chabad Kim. Life is good, life is great. It's a chance to celebrate. So you might notice that the entire parking lot here has been completely, well, almost completely empty. There are some probably administrative vehicles. And this is going to continue, well, it's supposed to continue till 9 p.m. I don't know how long it will actually go on. You got those policemen on horses still hanging out there. The folks over here, the best the best description I can give it is just trying to keep control of the situation, making sure that both sides stay on their side. How that helps their side, it's very hard to say. anybody would like me to try to get. Welcome Eggy Toast, our first anti-Semitic person. You must have also come here from the traveling crowd. I don't know if you can hear it, but the people who are now behind me are chanting in reverse. They're, they're back chanting. Anybody on here understand Arabic? Taking a little break from the noise because it's 
quite loud, regardless of which side you're on here. It is quite loud. Something is happening in the bus shelter across the street from the shoal. So, Kidnap coasters by the bus shelter as well, and then they've placed this. Can't help but wonder if the person who made the sign grew up in the 90s. out around here until the very last minute that most of the people were leaving would you be interested in that or should I depart whenever one side or the other calls it quits I need to know So along with the police who are on staff here, you've got uh, people who are involved with uh, safety coordinations from the synagogue itself. I was going to be sticking around here till about 9 anyway, and it's only 6.51 at this point. And the battery is going strong, courtesy of uh, some extra battery. So... Now, I've been asked by somebody to uh, stay on this side of the sidewalk. So again, it's going to make it rather difficult to see much from the other side. Choose peace, not terror, rockets, and... I missed the last bit, I'm sorry. We have a free hour hostage sweatshirt here. If you are watching this right now and you are finding it informative in any way, shape, or form, and you think other people would, please feel free to share it. Uh, this is going to be quite different from whatever you'll see on the news media later on, or if they are live right now, live, although I would guess that they're not. Uh, so, the uh, pro-Palestinian side, the anti-Israel side, I don't like saying pro-Palestinian because uh, for those who don't already know, I also speak up for peace in general, which means technically I'm pro-Palestinian. Uh, just not in the same way that these folks on the other side are. They have brought their own lighting. Those dots you see are handheld. Well, they're either their flashlights or their little LEDs. One way or another, my hope is that at some point in the near future we're able to see some form of peace happen because it's just enough, quite frankly. Nobody needs to die. We don't need these kidnappings happening. It would be very nice if everybody were just able to live in peace side by side. 
And I, once again, I'm going to recommend, if you are already here from the Traveling Flat, that you go watch his channel because he's got some great videos on the topic. Um, and informing people about what really happens in Israel. So you also watch Asaga Araro. She goes by Black Jewish Magic on Instagram. These are people who you can see actually interacting with people, enhancing the conversation. It's very important that we add in messaging that is positive and helpful in promoting the peace because Before we that continue, is what we need to be doing. I want to say a few words really quickly. In case you didn't hear that, they are repeating once again that they are saying that they are quote unquote peaceful, that they are protesting against the sale of quote unquote stolen Palestinian land. He is also claiming that six people have been arrested from the pro-Israel side and that supposedly none have been arrested from the anti-Israel side. He is uh, calling pro-Israel people. He is calling pro-Israel people fascists. A lot of the same kind of messaging that you'll regularly hear from them. We want to let these people know that no matter where they go, no matter what the injustice is that they try to, to do to us, we will be there. We will let us show up. And I see Rabbi Korobkin from Bayat uh, up at the podium now. So I have a feeling he's going to be speaking in a moment. I'm going to try to get up there again. And if we have the same issue that we did with uh, Greg Gutman, I will go down and closer and to the other the speakers. In two days, on March the 9th on Saturday, we will host the biggest Canadian Palestinian march in history in Ottawa. Many of these marches are done on Shabbat when the protest is I'm surprised half of them are still here, considering they get paid to be here. Shame on you! How expensive to music and playing songs, bringing heavy hostages. Your own so called Israeli government is killing your own hostages. Shame! Anybody know what they're saying in English? So that banner that you can see in the background there, very blurry, says. Synagogues complicit in Palestinian ethnic cleansing. This is something that came with yesterday as well.
Global News is also another privately owned uh, news publication and outlet. Watching. By the way, how is the signal now? If you are able to comment. Uh, thank you, Boozberg, for that uh, comment about what you think they're saying. It's appreciated. going until about nine o'clock I believe uh, I'm not sure what's going to be happening if, uh, if the buy because of this situation has planned their own schedule I also don't know what became of the uh, what became of the situation uh, I don't know what became of the real estate seminar that was planned for this earlier today now. So, I'm try to stick around as long as my battery holds out, as long as the situation is happening, and uh, be kind, be kind, be kind. That's what I mean. I am curious why this lady has just been sitting here all by herself. Thank you, Boozger. I don't know what the latency is, so I don't know how long ago you wrote that. We got, uh, I'm gonna take a little walk, get my legs going. This is Clark Avenue. Oh. Do you see the red flashing lights? That is normally an intersection which people go all the time. And there's a school just around the corner from here. You've got a community center as well. And low income housing. doing like a little Johnny Strides thing. If you don't know Johnny Strides, by the way, you can check him out too. He's from here in Toronto, although this is technically Thornhill. He does daily walks around various parts of the city. And I've been following him since he was a pretty small YouTuber. He's doing a lot better than me in terms of subscriber numbers right now, but he is also very active, which helps, I'm sure and he's showing off different parts of the city. So, highly suggest checking him out. His name is Johnny Strides on, here on YouTube. So yes, now it is a little bit more quiet out here. I can lower my voice. I can even hear the horses just chilling. So, it's a really difficult situation, and I honestly, like, with everything that's going on with uh, what they were saying about police budgets and all that uh, for the Toronto City budget, very interesting. I saw a post earlier today 
saying, uh, and I don't know if it was who, whose side it was from, but they were saying that, uh, well, they just got this new budget and people should make them earn it. But the fact of the matter is, this is a totally different city. So we're in Thornhill, it's just north of Toronto. Steeles is the border of Toronto and Thornhill, or Toronto and York region. And because of that, we are in a different jurisdiction entirely. And so for whoever posted that, it was completely incorrect. We have a truck moving. We're going to get out of what is essentially a roadway. momentarily quiet. So yeah, with everything that's been going on, it's uh, life in Toronto has been quite different. I'm sure those of you who are watching from here in Toronto uh, know the police have been under a lot of pressure because they have to keep this st kind of stuff from escalating into anything bigger. And beyond that, there are also emergencies that aren't being dealt with. There are uh, there are actual threats being made. You have the situation with places like the IDF, uh, International Delicatessen Foods, by the way, is the place's full name, uh, getting firebombed, and Free Palestine being written on its uh, on its doors. Situations like that because people are completely uninformed. So it makes things difficult. And of course, you've got threats against synagogues, uh, threats against schools that were made. Police are now at every single Jewish school across Toronto. And uh, that's what it's been like for the past few months for many people in this city. Uh, especially with daily, weekly, um, and you also heard the situ. Uh, you also heard what is planned for two days from now, where they're planning on going to Ottawa and doing something similar to what uh, the pro-Israel side did in December. Uh, most likely with much better weather. So it ends up being uh, that ends up being that situation as well. I keep saying the word situation. Can I? Uh, okay, so my understanding is that um, today's event was supposed to be a real estate seminar for purchasing land in Israel. The claim that... Um, the uh, claim that people... That is the guy, by the way, who just said behind me, I got punched in the face and maced. Um, I'm just going to quickly turn over to him. Uh, he's the guy who shouted fight and then ran toward the fight. I'm not sure how or why he would have gotten either maced or punched in the face. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, back to the question that was asked. So my understanding is it was an Israel real estate seminar. Uh, the claim being made by the pro the anti-Israel side, the pro-Palestinian side, as many people call them, is that some of the land that is being sold as part of the seminar or being promoted to be sold as part of the seminar is uh, is quote unquote stolen Palestinian land. Uh, now, there's a bigger issue with that, which is that they are talking about all of what is called Israel to this day uh, because they see Israel in its entire existence as being stolen land. You have to get into the long history thing of that. Uh, I've shared my opinion not here on this channel but on my own Facebook page many times. Uh, my opinion is quite short. I want peace to be happening. But I wish for there to be peace between the two sides. I know it's very simple, simple ideology. But 
that's it. Right, I'm going to switch back over here for a second. Did I answer the question, by the way? Yeah, I've already been uh, pushed back a couple times by the police, so this is, I kind of have a, a maximum distance I'm allowed, or minimum distance. No, maximum distance. There's only so far or so close I can get to them uh, before doing anything. Palestinians from Hamas is a slogan that you'll regularly see in response to the Free Palestine slogan and that is because Hamas is known as a terrorist organization around the world uh, it's what started this whole thing in October after kidnapping over 240 over 200 and 30 people, say over 230 people, because uh, those numbers ended up changing once they found out that some people had actually been murdered instead on October 7th. I don't know who is controlling them. I'm going to change my angle again, head back through the crowd. We have another Iranian flag along with an Israeli flag together over here. How you doing? Of all days for this to happen, I'm grateful that it is somewhat warm weather. Somebody has been kind enough to donate pizza. How nice is that? Now, by the way, uh, I'm going to make a quick note. You might have noticed uh, while I was walking through the crowd that you have people of various colors here of skin, and that is because just like just like Israel itself, Jewish people are quite diverse. But of course, as with the person that I interviewed before, there are not only Jews here, and there are not only Jews in Israel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Why can't this work? So, Israel is a very diverse place. That is also why I keep pointing you to the traveling plateau. is fantastic. You will see a load of diversity in his videos, as well as people talking very openly and honestly about their opinions about the conflict 
and about the current situation, the history of the region, and more. And the noise begins again. Unfortunately, with the, uh, compared to the Akyak situation, where uh, before the show there were people protesting outside of the Akyak's comedy club, uh, and there it was a much smaller, quieter crowd for the most part. There, there were drumming and chanting and shouting and swearing at the police, and uh, and they were shouting uh, against anybody who was there to attend the comedy show. Un unlike that, uh, I don't have as much opportunity to go and speak with people from the other side. As I said much earlier now, because wow, I've already been streaming for almost an hour and a half, uh, kind of being kept away here. But I did have a very cordial conversation with somebody who, while he did not Stand with uh, pro-Israel people, he was at least willing to speak with them. And that is a start more than anything, especially a start much more than Hamas has ever given to Israel, or unfortunately Bibi has been willing to give to either uh, Fatah or Hamas in, uh, in the past 20 years. And, uh, and it's not easy because because the leadership does not want to allow peace to happen and there is a large portion of that being that previous peace attempts did not work land for peace did not work so it's unfortunate but people can still continue to work toward peace and I hope, I hope that one day we will have that, but it's very hard when you cannot have conversations and people just shout at each other and accuse each other. But if, uh, if you can have people like Rudy Rothman bring people together, although now he is, or I don't know if he really is right right now, but he was in combat in Gaza. Uh, people like him be able to bring the disparate sides together to actually talk, even if they're arguing at first, it's The reason you've got this uh, larger clump of police is because right here you've got, well, you can see people vocally uh, being quite vocal again uh, at each other. Once again, very few people, if any people, here on the pro-Israel side wearing masks or covering their face, hiding their face. People on the other side, uh, on the anti-Israel side, covering their faces. Let's see if I can... I cannot see what that one says in this light. I'll try to get closer. Oh, and now you have the people chanting for Intifada. Alright, so the blue sign over there says, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, and then probably uh, the source material. There is a migrated sadness to see Zionists 
not due to Palestine when Nazis did to Jews. Albert Einstein. Can anybody check if he actually said that? Sorry. Now it's not just the threats that are at issue here, or the fact that they show up at uh, our religious institutions, but also the emotional toll it is taking on people because, and I, and I see, I have seen it, especially in some of the leadership, the way that some leaders have broken down crying during speeches, especially speaking about the hostages, the way that people uh, continue to push more and more for any funds to be raised. And that becomes more difficult because how much money do people have, really? I don't know. So I'm live, I'm live on JMT. I've been streaming this whole thing, well, since I arrived for the past hour and a half. It's a little difficult because I can't get over to the other side to see what they're doing. Well, you know what they're doing. Sadly. I did. Uh, I did note that uh, a, mo a minute ago they were chanting "Be by the Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for looking that up. I appreciate it. So, for those who are not looking at the live chat right now, Luisger says, All fingers point to fake quote, referring to the Albert Einstein banner that I was showing before. Now, they were also just chanting, Palestine is not your home. Now, I do see some admin from the synagogue actually out and about, so I'm going to try to pull one of them aside and see if I can speak with them. Ooh, that was a big flag. <laughs> President Gutman, may I pull you aside to speak live to some very few people on YouTube right now, but could, no I, kidding. could I get a statement from you? Hey guys. Oh. Okay. Hey so guys, thank you for your support. Uh, we are, uh, now, I don't know who is watching right now, so I don't know, except for one person who's been commenting frequently, if they support uh, us or not, but... Um, I am making sure that this is getting out there so that people can get a better understanding of uh, what is currently going on in the city and what is going on uh, specifically today at the Bayes and what the show is facing. Uh, do, you, do you want to say anything more uh, about what you said earlier? I think what I said earlier really hits it. This is anti-Semitism 101. 
This is not about the properties. Um, everybody needs to wake up and pay attention to what's going on. Um, when you come to a house of worship or to a school, two schools here, and hospitals, um, you've overstepped your boundary. And we ask the government to enforce the law. The laws are on the books. They're not just to be peacekeepers, they have to keep the law. We ask that they be prosecuted. This is anti-Semitism asking to wish me dead and my community dead right in my hometown of beautiful Vaughan and Thornhill at this beautiful synagogue. It's disgraceful. And you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Bring our hostages home. And and bring the hostages yeah. home. Of How about that? 153 days of uh, criminal activity and not bringing our hostages home. It's unacceptable. And until they bring the hostages home, unfortunately, Israel is going to do what it has to do. It's not against the Palestinians. It's against Hamas. Hamas has said they will do it again. We believe them. And so they have to do what they have to do. Bring the hostages, and you can have a ceasefire. Thank you, President Dutton. So, as you can see, it's it's quite an emotional thing for people, especially those in positions of having to protect entire congregations, because that is what they're facing right now. sign that I see I don't know if you can make it out I'll, I'll do the zoom in but there you go as you can see that sign whatever it says with the red banner on top uh, has a no Israel flag well, it's, a, it's got a no sign on top of the Israel flag so I'm sure you can understand that but Broadcasting to YouTube with Jewish Music Toronto right now. Jewish music. Yeah, I know. This is a this is a big this is a big departure from my channel for sure. Usually, usually I just post usually I post stuff about Israel and my personal stuff, but. Uh, Hitting home, we'll say. I'm going to head a little further away again, take a little walk. 
get a little pressure relief from the sound. And I'm actually going to switch. So you're going to flip again. Hold on, folks. Oh, boy. Had to switch hands. It's been too long holding that in my right hand. We've got Shomrim Patrol on site. If I remember correctly, that organization, uh, that grassroots organization popped up after uh, neo-Nazi marches a few years ago. Uh, I think around the 2017, the Jews will not replace us marches. And now, uh, now they're dealing with anti-Semitism from the left, the extreme left, I should say, and anti-Israel people. Usually with my channel, I don't do this kind of stuff, as you might have noticed. It's been a long time since I've produced anything long form. It's been a long time since I've done a new music related video except for uh, the couple of shorts that I started doing uh, around Rosh Hashanah time, which I've been thinking about doing more of. It's very different. But with this kind of thing hitting so close to home, and how everything has felt since October 7th, uh, I've been out to more of these. I got the chance to sing Hatikva at the 100th day rally and vigil for the hostages. And it was biting cold that day because, well, it just was. It was, it was a cold Toronto winter day. The sun was shining, but it was blisteringly cold. And I sang a duet with Israeli singer Sapir Bargig who had just come from Israel like two weeks before that. Ah, switching again, sorry. Two weeks before that. And she had never experienced Canadian cold before and got the utmost of it right after her arrival. It is, it is something. So, I've just started coming out to more of these things when possible. And I don't want to have to talk too much if it doesn't make sense. I'm just kind of trying to show you guys what's going on. Now, on Sunday... Oh, well, that is a very simple question to answer. Uh, I am a singer uh, primarily. The music production thing is actually on the side of the being a singer and teaching voice lessons. And, beyond, and so uh, I mostly am doing live performance in seniors' homes across the city these days. And when possible, doing voice lessons because that's also part of it. I teach privately. I teach public. Uh, I teach in groups, and I also teach. Uh, uh, I started doing a series called Voice and Nusach, in which I am trying to expand the number of people who are capable of leading prayer services in synagogues. And so it's very important to me, uh, not only to have somebody who can help lead a service, but also as well, uh, not only lead a service, but also do so and sound nice and have confidence because it's important to me. It, you can think of it similar to how this channel started as a form of cultural preservation because that's, that's where, I, where I started with it. The, old, the whole idea for the channel to begin with was uh, helping people have an understanding of 
a song, where it came from, uh, who either wrote or composed it, and went from there. So that's, that's what the channel was about originally. And then I started doing interviews with cantors from around the city, and also uh, I got the chance to interview one famous cantor in New York. Uh, speaking of which, there is a cantors concert happening in early April. It's uh, only next month. So if you are here in the city, uh, I think it's called World World's Greatest Cantors, and you've got Ozzy Schwartz, you've got one of the Lemmer brothers, uh, Natanel Hirschtick, I don't want, uh, Shai Abramson, I think is coming too, and there is a fifth one, and whoever is either conducting or, or being the main pianist for them, I am forgetting right now, but uh, I am hoping to go to that myself, because I, well, I enjoy the skill that so many of them have. And so, that should answer your question right there. I have done work for other channels, I do do work for other channels, specifically the Song Shul. So if you want to check out their channel, uh, Seder Night in Canada is sadly no longer up, uh, but Seder Night around the world should still be up. We, during the pandemic, uh, during the absolute heat of the pandemic, produced the first ever Canadian radio broadcast of a high holiday service and it went out across the country and technically because uh, classical 96.3 FM is on YouTube as well it went out around the world and so it was a beautiful beautiful thing a wonderful way of spreading Jewish culture and Jewish tradition and it was just amazingly produced because the uh, the audio team specifically Patrick over at Zoomer Radio what an engineer! He made them. He, he made them sound absolutely amazing. I know I'm getting off topic here with what's going on, uh, but but you asked the question, so I'm answering. And there is a guy on a bike with what looks like a delivery pack, currently working his way through the crowd, and that kind of worries me. A cantor, C-A-N-T-O-R, means a singer in short, because that's also a uh, that is also a uh, translation, I believe, from Spanish. But a cantor leads synagogue services most typically. Uh, so, if you look up, uh, for instance, the cantor from the Song Show, Cantor Simon Spiro, with whom I regularly work. He is one such cantor, but again, you can check out the song show on YouTube, youtube.com slash at the song show. A lot of shout outs today. You got the Traveling Clat, the Shagararo, Rudy Rachman, the song show. I'm sure I've missed some more that I said before. What time are we at? Still good for battery, folks. So as long as the battery goes, and as long as people are out here, I'm out here. No tolerance to terror supporters. Reading the sign. The number of smokers out here. Now, uh, Craig Gutman is, I thought he was being interviewed by a reporter. I saw Rabbi Korobkin, who is the Asra, he's the head rabbi of Bayit, uh, out there by the podium earlier. I thought he was going to speak, but I guess not. Oh, that's so funny. My One of my most recent music students, um, one of my most recent vocal students actually was in electronic music as well. And it turned out he had a voice for Broadway. So 
we started doing Broadway stuff. But he, he also has a, now he has a great voice uh, for doing uh, electronic music production as well. So, yeah, for sure, reach out. Uh, my info is there, or you can reach out to Ellie at JewishMusicToronto.com. And uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible, for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, he... <laughs> So the funny thing is, he's not even going to end up doing, uh, well, I hope he does. I, I hope he does end up actually continuing on with his music production because before he started taking anything to do with music lessons or, or, or sorry, before he was taking anything to do with singing lessons, he was already producing music on Spotify and was great. But then he just completely privated everything, even though it was really good quite frankly, and I don't listen to electronic music, I'm more Baraka. Okay, I am going to pause for a moment because we've got a little Pumzitz type thing going on here. This song I might sing along, but I actually don't.
they changed keys again. Thing is, in a group, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen as far as who's quote unquote leading. And I certainly wasn't in the group there, per se. Uh, I saw a bunch of different people from the community there, people from different shoals, shoals, synagogue that, uh, that were out. And that reminded me that earlier last month, I was here doing a jazz night as a guest vocalist. And, and it was your comment that reminded me of that because, yes, thank you. I appreciate the compliment about the voice. The funny thing is, uh, quite a few people from the synagogue did not know that beyond just doing uh, prayer stuff, I am also a professional singer. So there were some uh, drop jaws uh, when that happened. And it was a beautiful, beautiful night. You had people who were here uh, from again multiple synagogues they had gone on a solid trip to Israel together to uh, to take items to people who were uh, displaced they brought items to soldiers who were in need uh, some food some clothing uh, a lot of tzitzit which are little tiny prayer shawls or well they're mini prayer shawls that you wear all day and they came back and they shared their experiences of being in Israel and seeing what the current situation is and trying to give strength to people from the other side of the world bringing messages of hope with them and uh, yeah your comment reminded me of that so I'm just sharing that right now I'm getting text messages from my wife every once in a while asking if everything's okay, how things are going here, and that's... Okay, well, you got an Am Yisrael Chai. If you don't know what this song means, it's very simple first three words. Um, Yisrael, Thai, which means the nation of Israel lives. Od, Avinu, Chai, the, th the second three words, our father still lives. And it comes from the Torah. Oda Vinu Chai comes to the Torah, it's said by Yosef. If I'm remembering my Torah correctly, because he was asking. going on here? Now that might have looked like a little party going on. I call it morale boosting more than anything else. Making sure that spirits are high because well, 
However long this will go on, it will go on. The weather is good, thankfully. Here's the other side. I will, uh, there's the intifada call again. Um, so this breakaway group is still over there. As well as this little breakaway group. Um, I'd say it's about the same as it was before. The police had already, I'll go back around again and grab another angle. Um, you know what, I didn't think about doing this before, but does anybody have any Jewish song requests? I cannot guarantee that I will know them. I can sing Shabbat Smirot. I can sing Hine Matov. I can sing stuff as long as I don't know, need the lyrics for it and I know it. I can try to sing it. Obviously, I won't do that in front of the, wow. The, uh, I've been here because so many people have walked. It's never like this. I just noticed it. It didn't even rain today. So, so many people have walked. I'm doing this in a very, like, I saw a comment. Uh, lots of different Shir Lamalot, but I'm assuming you mean a sign I Harim. Shir Lamalot, a sign I Harim. May I in your voice leave? As leave me in Hashem. O Seshamayim of Aretz. A yitin lamot laglecha. A yanum shumrecha. Hinelo yanu, lo yishan shomer Israel. Adonai shumrecha, nai tzitcha yadi minecha. Yo mama shemesh lo yakeka, yareyach balayla. Naishmucha mikora, yishmor et nafshecha. Naishmor zedcha, oaycha meata. I'm going to read this comment here, David, uh, Dva, Dva My apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name. I've never seen that. It's supposed to be David? Dva Oliver. Anyone who says they are against anti-Semitism and in the same sentence against anti-Islamophobia is not your friend. Ah. Because it's in the same sentence. We've seen a lot of this uh, uh, equivocation from politicians, just the same, and from media outlets. Every time they met, uh, every time they would mention attacks on Israel, the kidnapping of the hostages, they would then, at the in the same breath, talk about something that was happening supposedly to the other side. And that was especially happening here in the city, how they're talking about standing, making sure that uh, the police are standing against hate and uh, against Jewish institutions, and yet they somehow bring in uh, Muslim institutions, even though until much later on. And there was an incident, by the way, where, uh, where men did uh, either it's been a while now, it's been a few months. But a man uh, did, I believe, uh, verbally assault uh, somebody coming out of a mosque downtown. And uh, that was thoroughly called out by the community because it was wrong. Because we shouldn't be spreading hate. Much as that sign over there says, stop the hate and places of worship have no place for hate.
Which one? Uh, CTV is interviewing somebody over here. That does appear to be the same person who was talking with uh, Craig Gutman earlier. It becomes a dangerous game when uh, talking to the news media because... Put your peace down! Put your peace down! You don't want any of that! That's what I thought! So it, yeah, so it ends up becoming a bit of a uh, double-edged sword speaking to the media because you don't know what they're going to do with the edited footage. And this was also something that uh, uh, when I was speaking to that gen uh, that uh, I wish I could remember his name, quite frankly. Uh, I think it started with a K, Holly, or something like that. Uh, but he had an amazing Sonic the Hedgehog necklace, and I complimented on it because it was amazing. Uh, but we, when uh, when I asked him if I could speak to him on video, and you'll find this on my uh, personal Facebook page. It's not going to be on Jewish Music Toronto. Uh, his friend said. Oh, come on, you know he's just going to edit the video to show whatever he wants. And I said, I'm not going to. I'm going to show the raw. I'm literally just going to share the raw footage. Now, if anybody ends up taking the footage afterward, that's a whole other thing. But no, I, I full on shared the raw footage as it was. I let him speak his piece. And then we had a further conversation, which I really do wish I also got on video because it was it was a it was a good conversation he asked me not to go into the comedy club because he felt that uh that supporting even the friends of the idf was supporting genocide just like uh the people on the anti-israel side over there uh, say about anybody here but the thing to keep in mind much like uh craig gutman said is that Israel's fight is not with the Palestinian people, it's specifically with Hamas. He didn't mention PIJ, but PIJ, also Hezbollah, uh, any other terrorist group. And just like if uh, if you are able to later go back, because I don't know what the settings I have set up here are, and see the, um, uh, the Iranian gentleman I was talking with before, uh, with the Iranian regime, um, that is where the where the fight is that is who israel is standing against because they want to see not just israel but jews around the world destroyed and i just took a little candy because uh i need my energy up because it looks like we are going to be here for a bit it's very sad i this is a silly thing but i come here every couple of weeks to pray it's a beautiful place. If you ever have the opportunity to come to Toronto to visit Thornhill and to take part in a service at the Bayit, Beth Abram Yosef of Toronto, I suggest to do it. Uh, that person just swore Palestinian uh, S word. I'm not going to say it. I know Tal swears on his channel, but. It's not what I do over here because uh, I try to keep everything very family friendly. Uh, but yes, I do highly suggest to come and take part in the service here. If you need somebody to explain something to you because you don't understand or if you're not Jewish and somebody is waving to me, I cannot see who it is. Oh, hey. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Hi. Oh, Ellie. Oh, great. I love this angle. Oh, oh no, good. No. Okay, is this wait. Live? What are we this doing? is live. We oh, are no. live. Oh, no. No, I don't want to better. stop. How do I get rid of this? I don't know. <laughs> this is my first. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. There we go. So, what are they all doing over there? We are live on YouTube for the past couple of hours. Wow. This is Shira. Friend and Ariel, friend. Hello. His wife drew the monogram for 
my wedding bed first. And she also made this sign. Oh. Yeah. Which is which is currently reversed because digital cameras for some reason. Oh, I'll, that's I'll, true. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, we are still standing after the gas chambers. We will survive your gas lighting. Yes, you've seen that around a lot. <laughs> It's gotten a lot quieter over up here. Yeah, it's, everything's kind of gone. Cut, so we can't drown out their noise anymore. Cut? Apparently they cut a speaker. Oh, wires somebody. Uh, yeah. Well, in, there was music before this. And then yes, there was a lot of music, and so you're saying somebody vandalized? That's what I heard. We're Jews. We like to talk. Ah. So it's not confirmed. It is not confirmed. It's I not literally confirmed. heard it on these stairs. <laughs> But it seems like that would be something we would have a backup for, just speaking as someone who plans things. Um, yeah. 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 It's a little surprising. Uh, I but... Know. I don't know. I don't oh, know is someone bringing a drum? Nope, that's just a... Oh, drum. there have been lots of drums around. Alright. So... Uh, thanks for letting me be on your YouTube video. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Did you want to talk about anything? Did you want to talk about anything? Not at all. <laughs> This is just, who would have ever thought that they would be here and that they think that they could outnumber us? This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I never see it outside my house. You yeah. know what? I Say it louder for the camera. You can hear, you've been, you live somewhat nearby. Remember, public on YouTube. Yep. You live somewhat nearby. Yeah. Um, and Maybe you could, every second you could, you could hear this. You could hear oh, yeah. you hear it in my living room. In your living room. And how how have your kids handled this? I don't really know much of what's going on. We've told them a little bit. Um, they can't quite understand why people don't think we should be able to be here, which is not really a great accurate portrayal of this, but uh, it's it's going a little over their head, I think. Yeah. You know, I have conversations with my daughter and she asked me why I'm coming out here tonight. And I said because and I I told her quite frankly because unfortunately there are people who do not like Jews. And you might say, "Oh, well, I, I didn't say this to her because that's a little over her head, but you might say, "Oh, but there are Jews in that group." So how can you say that they don't like Jews? But we know when the Notori Karta show up, um, you're in a totally different territory. Yeah. Totally different headspace. There's also going to be like a fringe 2% of insanity in any group. You can see the perfect example of ours over there. The people who are the chanting Karta, it. The, the ones who are holding up anti Israel signs. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The fact is, you can always find a statistic or a statistical anomaly that will support whatever narrative you want to push. But the mm. fact is, if, you, if, if you're really pulled by statistics, most of the Jews are going to be in support of Israel. Oh, yeah. They're not on the other side. The, the, I, uh, your independent Jewish voices types, your B'Tselem types, well, I don't know about B'Tselem, how, how close that is. Can I find you a minute? I don't, you, we're walking down. I don't think independent really quite grasps the scope of how small and alone. No. <laughs> no, I suppose not. It's It's been very nice to see over the past few months uh, faces from Iranian groups coming out and supporting. Uh, because I, small though they may be, I think it gives some kind of hope that in the future we'll be able to find peace with them. I actually think you'd be surprised at how supportive the Iranian community is. So Iran be. Iranian uh, people, I, I mean like, I mean like beyond that, but they'll they'll be able to also be a free people again and and as a country be able to come together with us. One of the reasons the Iranians support Israel, at least as a people, is because they know what this kind of ideology does to a country when it gets powerful enough. 
And as somebody said up on those steps much earlier, I don't know if he's still here, but I, I do see uh, I do see the other guy who was still who was very frequently out. I probably should get him on camera for a little bit. I'm gonna go find him. He just passed by us too. Why do I feel that it's important? Like I said to my friend, I think it gives hope for potential peace in the future. In the future. With their, with their community. Well, with their community, and then eventually, at some point, with their people. Do you mind if I also? You were live on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this thing live? Yes. Please be respectful. This is family channel. <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so just a little update as far as what's going on here so you might have recalled if, if you've been watching for a while the few of you that have been and if you've not been watching for a while there were police horses over there quite some time ago and it seems that um, things have condensed quite a bit because where those posters are now those posters are that was the edge of the anti-Israel side and uh, some people were from their own home kind of just hanging out over the edge but it seems that things have moved and it's gone that way for here too it is getting late the crowd is thinning out a bit I haven't checked comments in a while because I haven't been looking here so I apologize Okay, we haven't gotten any fresh ones. Now, I'll say, as I said when speaking to Shira before, we don't know that uh, the claim about something being clipped before was true. So, I don't know. Um, yes, the crowd is... Mm. It seems that the, their main group has broken away to the other side of York Hill Boulevard. For those who are just joining us, uh, the reason people are chanting take off your masks is because um, I'd say 99 to 100% of the people on the pro-Israel side are unmasked, showing their faces, and the people, I don't know the percentage, it's very hard to tell, but many people on the anti-Israel side are currently wearing kafiyas and other uh, coverings on their faces. Uh, they seem to be very willing to shout a message but not stand behind it, I guess. So yes, many people have moved over this way and so the police have as well. See how the cops are like, oh, no, we'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> 
Battery's holding out. This is the longest stream I've ever done. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. For those of you who don't know what it's been like in Toronto over the past few months, I will just remind... Oh, okay, I'm going to not quite do that yet. Oh, the arm, it hurts. Why they've decided to move over here, I'm not quite sure. So over the past few months, uh, these protests have been happening not in front of Jewish institutions so frequently. It's become much more frequent over the past month. Uh, at least here in Toronto. I can't speak to Montreal where there have been other fire bombing sh uh, shootings at synagogues and things like that. Uh, but one of the things that happened uh, a couple of months ago and a new bylaw was passed because of it is uh, weekly, daily I was hearing at some point, uh, people were blocking off the Avenue Road overpass by the 401, which if you don't know Toronto, Avenue Road by the 401 is right off of a very Jewish community. And one of the chants that was very frequent at that, uh, at those protests was um, Zionists cannot hide, uh, Zionists live in this neighborhood. Uh, they were basically trying to intimidate the Jewish people living in that neighborhood and it was happening quite frequently. So that has now escalated into marches against shuls, synagogues as we call them in English. Why did I say as we call them in English? Synagogues, shuls as we call them in Yiddish slash uh, Yiddishized Hebrew. Bek Neset in Hebrew. And that is what is happening out here right now. The police have been, as far as I know, uh, keeping things quite just noisy. Yeah, so one person just passed by me with an F Hamas sweatshirt and a mat, uh, balaclava on it. So, all right, now, now it's getting cold. So now I'm going to... Hey, I've been out here for a while, right? Any questions that I can answer? Or I, I guess any other songs that you folks would like me to sing if somebody wants me to sing. Okay, I'm um, going to make a quick comment since uh, Lozi made the comment to bring them home. If you want to see a really amazing rendition of Bring Them Home, originally from Les Mis, uh, done at the evening of music and prayer for Israel, go on the Song Shows YouTube channel when you have a moment and watch Jeff Madden who played Frankie Valley in The Jersey Boys, absolutely, absolutely smash that song. You will, you will most likely shed a tear, as many people in that audience did that night, because it was, it was something to see. And he got, he got an absolutely massive standing ovation, because you could tell and I spoke to him afterward about it. You could tell how strongly he felt about what he was doing there that night. And and he really does mean, did mean it. And when I spoke to him after, he said how much he appreciates the Jewish community here in Toronto. And as he put it, what, what uh, they've done for him. And he stood with us um, in many different ways, and he's particularly worked with the song for many years as well. Uh, and he's just a great guy in general. 
Jeff Madden. Wonderful, wonderful actor, fabulous singer. And there's another shout out because it just came to mind. I'm gonna check anybody has any. Oh, Lozy. I wish I had an answer for you. This was supposed to, uh, this was scheduled as far as uh, what Byte put out, 3.30 to 9 or 3 to 9.30, I forget what it was, but it was, uh, that's what it is. And so, how you doing? Good, yeah. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, okay, wait. I didn't, you want to be on camera? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about? Uh, it's on Jewish Music Toronto. I'm just, ah. I'm just live streaming so people can see what's going on. Right on. Uh, Good for you. People are tuned in. Do they not work? Have a family to feed. I mean, I'm here and I came after my work day. Uh, do they? I mean, look, they... I've seen that uh, anti-Israel protesters have raised funds in order so that they can come out and protest. Uh, so, do you consider that their work? <laughs> does that does that answer your question? I, I don't know. They uh, what what a lot of these people do during the rest of their day, I could not possibly tell you. I'm sure they're on the government. Has anybody ball. been arrested in Bal? Uh, I know someone from, was arrested. There, yeah. From look, from what they've said, uh, from I can only tell you what the anti-Israel side has shouted, which was that supposedly six people from the pro-Israel side were arrested. Do you know any more details than that? No, I don't know. They say none, of, none from their side have been arrested. I don't actually know if that's true. You got a session I'm going. Uh, I mean, I'm a singer. And then you've got a guy who works in dental uh, equipment right next to me. Yep. Again, not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tuned in? Well, we've got a few people. Uh, we've got somebody named Lozi, Some somebody from uh, Royal Orchard. I don't know who Dvaid Oliver is. Maybe people. It's a spelling mistake. Maybe it's David. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. But we're just, it's uh, almost two and a half hours now. You've been holding this for two and a half hours? I know. Well, switching you hands. Gloves. You oh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not no, I'm I just closed right my now. coat. You're not wearing a jacket. I know. I left it in the car. But... <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Jewish Music Toronto is doing all sorts of good stuff. Has been for the last 10 years or so. It's crazy. It's been 10 years. <laughs> yeah? It's been 10 years. Yeah. Your brother still comes up to me sometimes and mentions uh, and mentions Hine Rakevet and your nephew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love but that. now we talk about Wonderland. Oh, speaking of, another shout out. Amusement Insiders. Totally, totally unrelated. But if you like roller coasters, the guys at Amuse uh, Brendan from Amusement Insiders makes wonderful videos of it. Now Canada's Wonderland. We <laughs> I wish I understood what a lot of their music said, because then maybe I could appreciate it more, or better know, or better know why I would not like it. Israeli music comes from all kinds of different cultures, and I would point to the Idan Reichel project and Idan Reichel's work in general for how diverse Israel is and how people can be brought together because music is a wonderful way to connect with people. And again, Idan Reichel is a wonderful example of that because he has brought people from all over, Israeli Jews, Arabs, people from Spain, Morocco, uh, I think Morocco, uh, all kinds of different, yes, Indan Reichel is absolutely amazing. Uh, I, one, one tiny little thing from many years ago, I was honored because uh, I was in the York University Jewish a cappella group, uh, Kona Shema, 
which is actually where I met my wife. Um, we I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going, but nice to see go, you. Go get your coat on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, we're, okay, so many years ago when I was in the choir, Polishima, we and the varsity Jews actually opened for Idan Reichel. And this was like just after the Idan Reichel project album came out. And so that was a pretty big honor. It's like, uh, that's the last, not the last time that I was on a big stage like that. Because, I mean, I was on the Meridian Center stage, but only at, like before show stuff, for the evening of music and prayer. And then I was backstage the rest of the time in what, as somebody called, it's like the Super Bowl back here because we had all the equipment going with uh, the multicam, the graphics, and all of that stuff. So, ah, I'm blocking somebody's view right now. So it is. Starting, I think it's starting to thin out a little bit. If you can't hear what they're saying, Uh, Lozi, I wish I could answer that question. Honest, uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what what they think this will accomplish, aside from harassing people. They're saying Palestine. They're saying Palestine is our home. Now, earlier they were also saying Palestine is not your home, so you can understand what that would mean. If they were to get what is... It's so horrible. There's absolutely nothing. Hostages. Tunnels. Tunnels, hostages. Do you guys, do you guys mind if I interview you? Is that no, I don't mind, or yes, I do? <laughs> okay. What is this for? Uh, I'm, I'm live streaming on my channel, Jewish Music Toronto. Uh, it's very, as somebody pointed out, music. And I said, yeah, it's very good. It's, it's quite a detour from where I usually go. Usually I just post videos about music. It's been a while since I've actually done stuff generally. Well, no, the last the last time I just started doing some uh, shorts recently. And now they're calling everybody on the pro-Israel side terrorists. No, you know, it really doesn't help the level of discourse. In which that discourse, as I said much earlier, that's a real problem. We need to be able to have discourse. And I will keep promoting that. Oh, take back. Okay, so that, see, that's not something that I would personally stand with. I, I would much prefer we just had a peace. You tried pretty much everything except pressure from Musk to release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that is a very interesting thing. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people say uh, how much they avoid talking about the hostages. They don't want to talk about the hostages. It doesn't suit them. Nope. I've been having conversations, if I can call them conversations with people, uh, in relation to certain shorts that uh, the Washington Post channel has put out recently. One of them which they claim that there are hostages in Israel. 
And apparently, that's the new description for political prisoners or more specifically uh, administrative, administrative detainees being held in Israeli jails who they say are innocent uh, and are being held without charges and without trials Sorry. and I can't speak to that in great detail but the reason that I bring up administrative detainees specifically is because those people are usually and I can't give uh, I'm still looking into this myself so I don't want to uh, speak too harshly but many of them will say are connected to terrorism but you cannot call those people hostages it's they're not being held in tunnels where nobody knows where they are versus the victims of October 7th and the fact that Hamas is literally holding the bodies of people and we know this for a fact because Hamas is said because Hamas has said that they have either killed or has claimed that Israel's, uh, Israel's assaults have killed the hostages. So if that's the case, we know, and also of course from rescued and returned hostages, uh, that that is the case, that they are holding bodies. So when people say bring them home, they also mean the bodies of those who are deceased. Okay, so a question to the folks out there. Um, uh, no, we're still good. Right? Uh, I don't. Did you see somebody you knew just now? Uh, flipping you guys, I'm sorry. Oh, had to switch arms. Question for you folks. What's your favorite Eden Rifle song? How do... Well, you've got people... If you're talking about the... Whoa. Oh. Uh. My mom became a great one. So, remember how I said that, uh, that the anti-Israel side is claiming that... Uh, that detainees in Israel are quote unquote hostages. There we go. Unless they're talking about the Israeli hostages, which again, none of this would have even happened to those people if Hamas had not kidnapped them in the first place. So you guys are going very classic with the Idan Reichel songs right now. Boy, Mi Mama Kim, all stuff off of the early albums.
I feel very, very sorry for the people in the homes who want nothing to do with this right now. Another situation. Oliver, Zvaid Oliver, uh, what did you mean by the thing about the voices? Okay, so yes, they have been shouting for hours. It has been now. I only got here two and a half hours ago, as you can see by the uh, well, as I can see by the timer on my feed. Uh, but some of them have been here for. Well, there you go. Many hours. They've got. They've been here for many hours. Uh, they got here at two o'clock. So, hello, hello. Wow. What time is it in Israel right now? Uh, about seven hours. Uh, nine, two, three, is it six o'clock? Four, five o'clock? Three th well, good morning. Good morning, Israel. It's uh, welcome. <laughs> it's gotten a lot quieter on that side. I know it's quiet on this side as well. But uh, it's, you might be right. Maybe they're losing their voices. But I mean, they are on megaphones, so it's only so. They only need to be so loud. Well, thank you for joining in the middle of your night shift. I, I hope this is... I hope the fact that you can see that there are people standing up here for you, not just against you. Uh, it, I think it's dying down. I hope it's dying down. Yeah. Behind you! It's behind you! No, no, turn around! All right. Behind you! There we go. Uh, I'm actually live. I've been live for two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> to whoever is watching, say hello, YouTube. Say hello, Israel. It's a, it's at least a few seconds delay. Have more, you know what? I think more police have shown up. Uh, Lozi, regarding the music, uh, you might have missed it before, but somebody said that. Uh, now again, this is not confirmed, but somebody told me that the music, uh, something was cut. I don't know if that's true. 
Did they? Yeah. All right. Uh, confirmation. Uh, word from my brother is that the police told them that they could not use speakers anymore. Uh, megaphones only, apparently. Me yes, megaphones only. Uh, so the fact that they are no longer able to disturb the peace to the same level as before, I guess that's something. What time did you get here? 7.30ish. And it is... Yeah, it's been a while. We're coming up towards 8.45. Since 2 p.m. Oh, they've got nothing to do with their time. That's what somebody else said. Hi, yeah. No, it was the other brother. Okay, I know who Dvaid Oliver is now. <laughs> you're, you're thinking the older brother, not the younger brother. He said hi, Yashi. Okay. I said hi back, that's not me. I saw your brother uh, a week, uh, two weeks ago now, or it'll be about two weeks ago now. Um, we hung out while he was here in town. It's very nice to see him when he comes in. <laughs> it is 3.30 in the morning in Israel right now. He is on a night shift. Are, you're not in the field right now, are you? In the Ve. Like, the Neve I know is Neve Shanan, so. Guarding, guarding. Okay. Well, uh, a, a very special hello to our cousin in Israel right now, who is. Yes, yeah, hard enough, okay. Uh, our cousin in Israel right now, who is doing his utmost. He joined the army uh, late. Oh, this is, oh, this is not army. Okay, this is, you're also, uh, I didn't know, okay. But a, a shout out to you nonetheless, because I know you did join the army uh, somewhat recently. After moving to Israel, uh, well, well past the normal age of being able to join the army. You can correct me if I'm wrong on any of this information. And we wish you well. <laughs> Old fart army, got it. I'm going to continue walking, walking around getting a view of what's going on because otherwise we're just looking at the back of people's heads. This entire area has been turned to mud. It's, it's very sad because it's such a nice area in front of the chill usually. But instead, it's been completely ruined because it sadly had to be. So yes, the crowd is getting even thinner. I don't know if people are leaving or what's going on with that side. They're all part. I know that they're packing up the speakers here, as you heard. Uh, the professional term is striking. If you. So there you go. If you ever hear about somebody taking down a set, be it, uh, be it a video production, speakers, or theatrical, that's called striking the set. Well, I believe that technically until 11 p.m., they have allowed, I mean, they, people have allowance to make noise publicly and then after that maybe it's 10 p.m but certainly there is a a, ma a a time at which there is a limit to noise i don't know when
when their voices will give out. Sadly, it's not. But okay, but is that like a mandate? Did you hear what he just said? What? Oh. So ba okay. So at this point, at this point, what is basically being asked of the people associated uh, with the bike safety team is that we move toward the parking lot, and I am sure that the reason for that is because the reason, I'm sure, is because they want to make sure everybody's safe. When it's very close. However, let me start by my friend. Did you do did you do a beat? Did you do a beat? Not yet. The, the camera's the face oh, the other way. Yeah, it's facing the other way. Still facing the other way. Oh, no. Did you do a beat? No, come. We're doing a beat on the face. Go. Oh. No, tell me if you actually get people. I will get ten. First, it, uh, contrary to what he said, I am happy to do uh, the evening prayer service. However, I will uh, I will make sure that I'm helping along with the situation and uh, following what was asked of the Biot safety team. Hey, uh, Oliver. Do you want me to get some uh, some hellos to you right now? I'm gonna wait for your response. All right, all right. We're gonna do some hellos from Toronto to Israel right now for whoever wants to say hello to Israel from Toronto. It is 3.30 and my cousin is watching on our YouTube channel here. He is on guard duty right now, not in the army as he told me, but he is, uh, uh, he said hard enough in the bay. All right, so there's your first hello to Israel. Any hellos to Israel? Any hellos to Israel? Oh, we have another hello. There you go, Oliver. Another hello to Israel. 3.30 in the morning, he's watching this. Mayan Am Yisrael We don't know whose that is, do we? I don't know. Oh. All right, so we are moving toward the parking lot right now, and I'm quite sure it is in order to ensure that uh, people are safe while leaving the venue. Some guy in the prayer. Huh? Some prayer. Uh, this is going to be special. Okay, we're davening. Welcome to the prayer service. That's why they're making all of us People will answer. We're gonna do it, do it properly. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize he's doing a uh, different style, which might be. Uh, Keep it on the same. I just want to make sure that he does say the words properly. It's more respectful that way. And we're now tuning in. Amen. We're not turning into a tune, tuning in. Amen. 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Enoheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Tov Mechat Tov Mechat Tov Mechat Tov Mechat Tov Mechat Tov Mechat Ha <laughs> Shalom, <laughs> Beautiful thing. We're being uh, so bites an Ashkenazi show, but it is this uh, service is now being led by some Sephardim in the community. Keep it moving. This prayer to the parking lot, to the parking lot. No, 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 you're okay. To the parking lot. Okay, I'm the name of the Oh, 
He's trying to make sure that there are still 10 people. I would go into the parking lot where we can actually stay and... and oh. Slow down, slow down. Slow down. Yeah, he's he's doing Amida now. It's Mari if you can you don't have to be allowed. So for those who don't I don't know who's watching right now, so if you don't know what's going on right now is the Amida, the standing service. It's the silent portion. Guys, guys. Technically, I am still part of this minion, so I can't go too far. But uh, the police forces are now moving on. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, I've been holding this in my arm the whole time. Three hours now. In a few seconds. Yes, it does appear that they are moving them on. And they're also trying to make sure that, uh, that the pro-Israel side is moving on as well, so things quiet down. I wouldn't call that going down. I would just say they're moving people on quietly. You gotta remember with professional protesters that they do their utmost to. Here, here. Okay. Finishing up the prayer service. Amen. 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 I'm interested to see what the recording will be like. I'm going to catch myself and unplug accidentally. We're still good for power. Hey. 
Shalom Aleinu Ve'achu Yisrael Yahasa Shalom Yahasa Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'achu Yisrael Okay, I think I drove. I will... Did you drive? Yeah. Okay, well... Um, I think that is going to be it, unless anybody has any final questions for the evening. Uh, God bless the idea. I'm going to wait, I guess, until I get closer back to my car. Or maybe, you know what, I will, I'll keep the stream going until I get back to my car, and that way... You guys know that I got back to my car. There's police on that side too. Are you guys, uh, you guys, okay to get back to where you're? Go I mean, you're probably okay. I, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. Are you still alive? I am still alive. No, I don't. I just want to make sure he's okay. To we're 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 smack on my face right now, so. Um, answer to that question from what I saw is that they got the horse, uh, the guys on the horses. Well, I don't know who you mean by everybody because I'm still here. The uh, the girls who were singing O Shalom earlier. They uh, they were they're still chanting but and singing. But uh, as far as the anti-Israel protesters. They were uh, they were taken off with the horses, but very quietly. Like I said, or like I started to say, professional protesters they uh, they walk that line very closely. Yes, that is my brother. That is my brother. Uh. <laughs> I switched arms again. I'm recharged. I'm recharged. Well, uh, welcome to the new people to the channel, the couple who came over from uh, from Tull's channel, The Traveling Clat. If you don't know The Traveling Clat yet, uh, go watch his channel. You will find out more about what's going on in Israel than you will really find out from watching me, um, because I only really post about that stuff generally on my personal Facebook page and not via video. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll really help with Hagba. Uh, and and he's a really great guy, and he is working on bringing people together. So go watch Tal's channel. Go watch Rudy Rachman. Go watch uh, Asher Guerrero, Black Jewish Magic, as she's called. People who are interested in bringing positivity into the world and somehow figuring out ways to make peace and bring people together that's we need more of that entirely and the police are still out here thankfully so uh, that's the good news for that I think it is going to be a quiet rest of the night stay well guys I'll talk to you later maybe okay <laughs> Oh, say shalom bim ramav, who ya as a shalom aleinu, ve al koni soil, ve imru, imru, amen. Bye, everybody. That's my brother. I said bye, not bye. Oh, bye, uh, not bye, uh, what? I don't know where you're parked. Just on the other side. Oh, okay. You had a free parking spot waiting for you if you needed, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you to everybody who tuned in for the whole thing. I can't believe that you did. Uh, you're, you're, you're something else. Wow. Uh, and everybody else who came and went, uh, thank you for joining whenever you did. Thank you for anybody who asked any questions. Um, I hope, I hope that. Uh, you will promote 
peace wherever possible. Worst comes worst. Yeah. I mean, I have my uh, I have my music stand in the car pretty frequently. That's that's pretty hefty. God forbid I should ever need to use it like that. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Have a good night. You as well. Text me later. Just so I know. Oh. oh, no, we know that's not true. We know that's not true. Thankfully. Just because, just because they said that they only arrested, and by they I mean the anti-Israel protesters, just because they said that only pro-Israel people were, were arrested tonight doesn't mean that that is indeed the case. Uh, and if anybody was foolish enough to start fighting with people, mm, horrible. Okay, that is an unrelated situation. Oh, guys, guys, I am still here. I wanted to get you guys. Hold on. There's still some pity here. You guys want to say hello to Israel? Yes. Of course. Hello. How are you? Hi, Israel. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. There's Thank like you so much. three, a few seconds lag, so. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys, bef uh, before, you go, before you guys go, you're uh, you're from a Sephardi group? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. You guys, uh, uh, don't. Magen don't, David. Magen David. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you for leading uh, thank you so leading an arvit. Okay. Shabbat shalom. Yeah, it's Thursday. Jeez. So there you go. You got some extra hellos to Israel before we went offline. And when I get to my car, that is going to be the end of the stream. Woo. Shabbat Shalom. I'll finish off with a little Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Bim bam bim 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 bam bim 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 bam. Chiri biri biri bim bam bim 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 bam bim 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 bam. Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom everyone As I say Because this is actually how I finish my Programs every Friday When I do Shabbat programs in seniors homes Have a peaceful A restful Wonderful Shabbat And I'm at my car now so perfect timing Shabbat Shalom everyone A good Sabbath Bye